Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Hashtag Ask Firebase. And my name is David East, and um, we didn't plan this. And I'm Sumit Chandel, and yes, we did. Getting started with ML doesn't have to be hard. Today, we're gonna go over some awesome stuff that you can do with MLKit, like creating custom models to classify images without any code, generating smart replies to messages, and identifying languages to text. And we're not only going to answer the questions you asked, but provide some tips of our own. So let's get started. This first question is, how do I use Kaggle and MLKit together? Well, that's a great question. But first, in case you don't know what Kaggle is, then you're really missing out. Kaggle is an amazing place to go for all things machine learning. There's courses, competitions, and my personal favorite, data sets. Kaggle has a huge gallery of data sets that are great to use for developing a machine learning model. This is where Kaggle works really well with MLKit. Kaggle has a great list of image-based data sets, like a bunch of images of rock, paper, and scissors. And you can use a data set like this, making sure you have the permissive license to use them, and upload it with AutoML Vision Edge. AutoML Vision Edge is a new feature of MLKit we announced at I.O. this year. You can upload labeled images, and AutoML Vision Edge will create a classification model for you. So if you need a custom model that can identify if your hands are playing a rock, a paper, or scissors, or probably something a little more useful, this is a really easy way of doing this. AutoML Vision Edge has Edge in the name for a reason. Edge means that the custom model you create can be deployed to the device. This means that you get a lower latency response, and it will work if the user loses connection. So Kaggle is a great place to source data sets and create powerful custom models with MLKit. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Next question. So this next question comes from me. And my question is, can MLKit Smart Reply reply to Smart Reply? You're probably familiar with Smart Reply features. And many messaging apps nowadays, you'll see a list of suggestions when you receive a message. And this makes it easy to respond because you don't have to think about what you're going to say. And you know that's always good. Uh, but MLKit has a Smart Reply API. You feed it a list of messages, and it will generate those Smart Reply suggestions. So I created a little experiment where I had a smart reply respond to a smart reply. Let's see how that went. Well, that was pretty awesome. Now, this wasn't meant to be a super intelligent response for two reasons. One, Smart Reply helps a user quickly respond when they are busy, or it acts as a handy way to initiate a longer message. So it's not always meant to generate the exact full thing that you would have thought yourself. Two, the API provides suggestions based upon the last 10 messages in a conversation, although it does work if only one previous message is available. It works better, though, when you have real messages rather than the small random ones like I was using. So yes, a smart reply can respond to a smart reply, but you're better off using you know, real messages. Prochaine question. Ah, uh, next question. The next question is, what are some good language ID use cases? Well, to answer this question, we need to first take a look at Language ID itself. Language ID is an API for MLKit that allows you to identify the language of a given piece of text. So if you're looking at a piece of text like this, j'adore regarder Ask Firebase. David est très intelligent. Enchanté. The Language ID API can tell you with a high confidence that it's French. With this information, you can do some cool things. First of all, you can do the obvious thing translate the text to another language. You can also use MLKit to translate that text too. The link is in the description about that API. But one use case that isn't obvious is using language ID not to translate text, but to keep track of what languages are being used in your app. When a user submits a comment or a chat message, you can ID the language and save it to a database like Firestore. Later on, you can do analysis and see what kind of languages users are posting 
to create better experiences for those languages. So language ID, it's great for translating text, but it's also really useful for understanding your users. Adding machine learning to your app doesn't require some crazy degree in mathematics. All you have to do is use the right tools. So that's all the tips and questions that we have for you today. If you want your question answered, make sure to go to Stack Overflow, YouTube, Twitter, and we will go and grab them and put them on the show. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel because we'll have a lot more like this coming out soon. That's all for this episode of hashtag Ask Firebase. Until then, à la prochaine. Bless you.